Hello, my name is MantiXD and welcome to another Wind City video. Today we'll be discussing the mechanic pass. Passing and passing will open a lot of doors towards you. Number one, card advantage, and card advantage leads to victories. Oh look at the shadows to our followers. Now back to topic. This video that I want to share to you with you guys, it's very very important. And the reason why is that it's because my enemy had a very similar deck to mine and yet the outcomes were completely different because of understanding when to pass and when to actually pressure. So right here my enemy is going to go first. You guys know already the monster uh, the monster classic which is going to be probably a Necker into a uh, Necker warrior and then from there on just branch out. Right here, as you can tell, I'm thinking his deck is very similar to mine. He might try to do the Necker Warrior, which is 5 strength. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So, there you go, Math 101 with Manti XD. <laughs> no, but so he will have 8 points of strength. And if I play a Necker Warrior, I will mirror him, and then from there on, it will branch out. So, I was thinking at this point, what about if he's playing mechanically, and he just goes for the Necker Warrior? I'm going to play Witchers, so I have 19 points of value. If he plays a card, he has to play another card to win. That will already give me a victory. Even if I had lost that round, I will have card advantage, and I have a whole time to set up. So right here, I predicted it correctly. He played the Necker Warrior. I decided to pass because at this point he needs 11 points of value. And if he doesn't have Witchers, if he has Witchers, he will go down to 8 cards and I will have 10. If he doesn't have them, well, he will have to play 2 cards to catch up to me. Now, right here, my enemy realizes his mistake. And passes. You can see on the bottom right side. I oh my god, I was so happy about this because I had read it properly. Now, since I've won the very first round, this opens my opportunities. This opens my abilities. You, I'm already one card advantage, and and I feel very confident. Now I can actually use the setup where I can use the Necker and the Necker Warriors. All this, all this will allow me to get an easier, smoother game. I'm, I feel confident because at this point, he has to play until I say stop. <laughs> right here, his, the, the game is going on just as normally. But while this game is starting to happen, let me get more into detail. All right. Passing. There are certain points where you need to pass in order for your enemy to go into card disadvantage. One common event is Northern Realms. On Northern Realms, when somebody plays the Bloody Baron and you're still more than six points ahead, I will strongly recommend pass because he still has to play the Kelduini Sergeant and the Mod Baron and he will still have to play something else. So remember, Keep those kind of things in mind. Now, on Scoyatel, if Scoyatel plays a Fireball Trap and you're ahead by a certain margin, make sure to pass because that card has no value. It's face down. But right here, back to the match. There is something very important that happened here. And what this situation allows me to do is allows me to give another pass. I realized that his strength, he's playing really weak, he's still playing the setup because he wasn't allowed to play the setup on turn 1. So I'm going to go really aggressive, I could play setup and get the warrior right here, but instead I go for the goal. This puts me at 42 to 33. What this allows to do is to keep pressure. Our card is 7 to 7, very very decent. And he goes ahead and plays the Fiend. Fiend is 8 strength. That leaves him 1 point behind. 
once again, if he wants to win this round, which he has to at this point, it will cost him one more card. This is the moment where I need to pass. Remember guys, always play with enough strength to close the gap with one card. This way, you won't get caught off guard and you won't end up losing games because of card disadvantage. The games might look juicy and you might try to do the one too. But if you have enough cards advantage and you're keeping track of what your enemy is playing, there is no shame on taking the victory on three rounds. Things to take into consideration are weathers and milvas. Be very careful of those for they can make passing very, very tricky. Keep on mind that as much as this video is about passing, sometimes it's not the correct answer. If you know your opponent's deck by mine and you have track what he has used, what he has not used, sometimes it's better to just simply finish them. Now, the factors that involve into these decisions are multiple. But like as I said, tracking of your opponent's deck and knowing the deck are key components. Went is a very, very new game, guys, and there is frontiers to be explored. Right now, one of the frontiers is a turn one pass on Skellige. It might sound funny and some people might disagree with that, but the fact is that it's actually working. As when progresses, you will have to keep up these situations on mind and keep an open mind to new changes. Mastering the concept of pass or when not to pass it what is what makes or breaks some of the top players. Remember to keep all these tips into consideration for you to become a better when player. Don't get caught off guard by the good old weather plus art. Or, you know, like we said before, the good old Milva. Here are a couple of pointers that will make it more difficult for your enemy to pass on you. Number one, be less predictable. If you are using the same strategy over and over again, your enemy will have an easier time to find out at what point your momentum is broken. There are certain settings that require a two-turn play. Once again, you could actually separate these setups and make it less predictable, for so harder for your enemy to play. I have a question for you guys. Is there any player that you would like to see being featured on Wen City? If so, let me know in the comment section. I hope that this video was of a lot of help to you and understanding when and when not to pass. My name is MantiXD and make sure you check out our streams at twitch.tv slash MantiXD and twitch.tv slash H underscore G3. I'll see you guys next time.